sounds like you're just making it up on the spot. Like no. Greetings and salutation and a happy Halloween to all friends and family, fans and followers of the Zeta Nation. Thank you for joining us here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, for the 80th edition of The Revolution, our very special second part of our Halloween episode. I am your host with the most from the east to the west coast, like peanut butter on your breakfast toast, Emperor Zeta. Coming to you from the greatest place in the world, the Fortress of Solitude here in Etobicoke, Ontario, Canada. So this week, as I said, is the very special second part of our Halloween episode. We have some pumpkin carving, some trick-or-treating, the royal family all dressed up in costume, and some very special guest appearances. Plus, Catherine has some very special Halloween songs for us, and Comic Book Day is once again Halloween themed. One quick thing, so, so Mayor Rob Ford smoked some crack. How about that? Anyways, that is enough for me. Let's get on with the show. Rock and roll, baby. And here we go. Hello. So, Anthony is nine and a half months old. Tooth number three has come in. Tooth number four is just about to poke through. He's crawling faster. He has now discovered he had a leg himself. He's starting to anyway. Bit of a mess, but he's doing pretty good. He's actually a uh, cleaner eater than the bathroom is. And today he learned how to clap. Yay! I heard it for myself. So it was his first Halloween. He looked adorable, as you can see in the footage. He really seemed to enjoy going to the houses. He was a big kid, everybody thought he was adorable. So, well, I've been back to work in five weeks. Yay! <laughs> the past three nights straight, he has slept completely through the night. And hopefully, this is the start of permanently sleeping through the night for the rest of his days. <laughs> I don't want to go back to work with black bags under my eyes. I've only had nine months of that. That's it. Bye. Raw the next night was not much better, except for one angle, and SmackDown just blew. So we have a new World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena, actually won the title. I didn't think he was going to come back out and be Superman, but Super Cena lives again. Then Damien Sandow decided to cash in on Monday and become the second man to ever unsuccessfully cash in his Money in the Bank contract. Don't know who they're going to program Cena to feud with next. I'm hoping it is Sandow because I think it would be a decent feud. Who else is he going to feud with on SmackDown? It can't be Del Rio, even though we know he's going to get his return match. Yeah. And then the WWE title, what a mess. So Randy Orton is finally your WWE Champion again. Daniel Bryan went under to a super kick by Shawn Michaels. That's right, Shawn Michaels super kicked Daniel Bryan because he hurt his best friend Triple H. Somebody needs to get Triple H off TV and bring back them to them. I am so unimpressed with Daniel Bryan going under. At least he got revenge on Shawn Michaels by putting him in the S lock. And then we saw a very interesting angle where Bray Wyatt attacked Daniel Bryan and left him lame. And then later on went and proceeded to attack and knock out CM Punk. Explosion! So CM Punk, it seems, is involved in a feud with the Wyatts, teaming up with Daniel Bryan. With those two involved, you know the matches are going to be fantastic. At least CM Punk is done with Paul Heyman. I don't want to see another match with him in Ryback. I never want to see another match with him and Curtis Axel. Punk is the only good thing about those matches, and the other two are wastes of time. But I am going to miss Paul Heyman. I just wish they'd put CM Punk back where he belongs in the WWE title picture. <laughs> Speaking of putting people where they belong, they need to put Zack Ryder on anything other than the Halloween special. And then he was on another YouTube show this weekend. It didn't make any of the TVs. It was nowhere to be seen in pay-per-view. 
and I think the burial process of Zack Ryder is completely finished. I am serious, bro! Maybe one day he can hope to be a max striker and become part of the announce team. I don't see him ever winning another title again, but hopefully WWE will prove me wrong and give him one last push before they release him. So we are at home. It is Halloween 2013. We are carving the pumpkins again this year. We have some wicked designs for you this year. One design Catherine actually made herself at school. Another design is really cool. You guys will see it when we're done. I'm not going to show you before. So we have the voice. We have Princess Catherine, Prince Anthony, and myself carving the pumpkins because unfortunately Empress Magda is in bed sick as a dog. A really, really sick dog. I'm carving the pumpkin. So this is the inside of the pumpkin after the top has been chopped off. We can do that for this pumpkin. No, um, it's too dirty for me. I will hold it so it doesn't move. I'm in charge of the tracing and patterns. Now we have this pumpkin that we're doing, a super secret pumpkin. We have a secret pumpkin. Shh. Plus, we have the two mini pumpkins for the two mini people we have living with us. And Nono is tracing one of the designs, helping me out here. So now the voice is working on cutting out the faces of our pumpkins. One side of the pumpkin, other side of the pumpkin of our super secret pumpkin design. That is awesome! So we have our super secret awesome pumpkin, we have our scary pumpkin, we have our Catherine designed face pumpkin, and we have the A for Anthony. These are my pumpkins! Happy Halloween! So we are here, it is Halloween 2013. I have Empress Knight's dressed as a witch, I have Little Anthony dressed as a flying monkey this year, Catherine's dressed as a good witch, and I am the Wizard of Zeta. You shall not pass! Mm. Oh, are we going to go to the And look at this ghost lady, Iris. <laughs> One of the awesome houses we've seen tonight. <laughs> that tickles. Elmo's depressed. <laughs> Why can I get candy too? Oh, hey! Thank you. Thank you. King 
Corby knife. Uh. So it says pumpkin Corby. And the six and the and the I can't tell you because it's a surprise and it's a secret too. So shh. That's right, it's comic book day, and I have the return of my sidekick, Prince Anthony. He's dressed up as Batman today. You can't see it under his uh, big, heavy jacket, but it's nice and cool today, so we thought we'd dress up really warm. So, we're headed down to Excalibur Comics. We're going to see Robin Fred, me and my friends here. I am sporting a beard this week, but it's just for Halloween, so welcome to our special Halloween episode of Comic Book Day. It's a, this is a Halloween edition. Find out what Fred has to say about the horror books this week. Find out what Rob has to say about Halloween. So, we will see you soon, people. See you soon, people. We're back. So, we are back down here at Excalibur Comics for Halloween. It is Devil's Night, the day before Halloween. We're heading upstairs to find out what horror books Fred thinks that we should check out this week and find out some Halloween conspiracy theories for all. So, unfortunately, because I brought my sidekick with me, I do have to deal with... That's right. That's right. The steps of doom. So we'll see you guys inside. This is Excalibur Comics, 3030 Blur Street West, upstairs above the Kingsway Theater. Since it is Halloween next, uh, tomorrow, I just want to plug a number of books. Now, this is an old reprint, but I might as well I'll tell you about it. Tales from the Crypt. EC produced some of the best horror comic books from the 1950s. Now, at the time, they were considered gruesome. Today, not so much. But they have a few gruesome things from time to time. But there's the hardcovers and paperbacks, as well as uh, back issues of Tales from the Crypt, uh, as well as The Vault of Horror was another series that was put out by EC, and of course, The Haunt of Fear. They're in reprint form, with hardcovers, soft covers, and even back issues. You can find the Gladstone editions, which aren't, aren't that expensive at all. They're just five bucks or so, which is hardly anything really compared to the books that today. The big uh, book right now is, of course, Neil Gaiman's The Sandman. Neil Gaiman created the series back uh, back in the 80s. It's considered one of the best series produced for comics. And he's decided to return to The Sandman. So what we're going to do, bi-monthly, $4.99, <coughs> a little on the expensive side. But it's well worth it for basically Neil Gaiman and some nice artwork. Sandman Overture number one. She's a prequel to the actual first series of Sandman. The other thing I also have to mention as well, Infinity number 5, that's out, and again, beautiful artwork, Alien Invasions, of course you have Thanos, you can't go wrong with the big ugly blue lug running around, beating the crap out of everybody, so the other book that's uh, associated with the Infinity, of course, is the, the Avengers book, and Francis Yu, again, 
doing a very good job on, on the actual book itself. Beautiful artwork, nicely written. So Hickman's doing a good job in this. And Avengers number 22. And before I forget, and the Battle of the Atom, the final issue of, the, of that series is, is out. I started with Frank Cho doing the first issue, which is beautiful stuff. And then a whole bunch of artists are coming to finish off the series, so it's going to explain how what the future lies and goes for all the X Men titles. Nah. Bonfire. The pump kit is also, it's, it's a compliant. They go around, the Jewish would go around to the villages to ask for sacrifices. And you would fuse, they would put a mark on your, your house and they would later on come and burn and kill everybody in the house. But if you comply by bringing a, giving them a sacrifice they ask for, they'll leave a little pumpkin in the lighting saying that you comply. So the jack-o'-lantern is actually a old Jewish uh, ritual. And we actually do that celebrating Halloween as well. So Halloween has become now the most popular, more popular than Christmas now. A very popular holiday in North America. We don't realize we're actually celebrating the old uh, satanic and rich druidic type uh, holidays from 500 years ago. Uh, the druids used to, to uh, control England, uh, London actually, the old London. One of the main bonfire, a, a certain spot in the old London, England. Built an airport that's built on the sacred land that the druids used to control. In fact, you can't build there. It's, it's also a United Nations protected area. Uh, that is where they used to actually sacrifice and have the bonfires. And one of the main landlords still is actually Kate Nedlin's family. They own most of that land. And uh, that is where the Druids actually had the uh, sacrifices. And as you know, Kate, Kate Nedlin's husband, uh, her, her, his mother, one of the head Druids, the priest who married Kate and, and William, actually he was one of the high priests of the Druids. So the Druids still alive and well, not as uh, uh, known as back 500 years ago. Yes. Yes. Uh, but they still practice their stuff. You get here wildfires in California or, or, or uh, out west, and it's, sometimes they usually tell you it's been deliberately set and people die. It's actually a, 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 a form of sacrifice that they still practice, especially around Halloween. Well, it's over. It's done. So ends the 80th edition of the Zeta Nation. Thank you for joining us here for. This week's episode of The Revolution, and come back next week for a brand new episode right here on YouTube. Go back and check out all of my other episodes right here on YouTube, and subscribe to my channel, and subscribe to my channel, one word, Emperor Zeta, right here on YouTube. Pick up your Drop Dead Pinups, the Electric Knight CD, find them on iTunes, pick up their t-shirt, and follow them on Twitter for all the news on their latest CD at Drop Dead dead pinups don't forget to follow me on twitter at emperor zeta head down to excalibur comics for all of your comic book conspiracy theory related needs and i am the game i am triple h i have a two dollars to look for a wife